I remember going into I remember going into work and one day when the, and my colleague said, Yeah, yeah, have you heard have you heard about um uh, this uh, World Wide Web? And I was like, No, no, what's that? Was like, oh, you can you can send this. It's, it's a bit like a pager. You can send uh, like mess, text messages to any other computer which is on the network anywhere in the world for free. I thought, hmm, that sounds quite interesting. And then the, about a year later, like we were just doing web pages, and there was all the, the you know the dot com boom when people were buying McDonald's dot com before McDonald's or twenty yeah. second yeah all that stuff. So now I see all that kind of evolve, which is quite interesting. Oh, no, that's uh, that's that's really interesting. You saw it kind of from the inside, from from a company that was going going through that. What's so? What was that like, kind of during that time? Uh, was it as manic as everyone kind of says? Um, it, 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 well, it, I mean, it, it kind of as I say. I mean, like, like one day we were doing kind of like these kind of trying to squeeze these executions, uh, like self-running uh, presentations onto one point four floppy disk, and you know, and it. it and then you know, then it could cost like like five grand to get a, a CD, a times two speed CD burner. I, I like my state of the art PC, which I had, was about five grand. It was a sixty kilohertz. Right, like, there's more power. It's probably my mobile phone's about ten times more powerful than that five grand state of the art, uh, you know, um, PC that I was using. And then yeah, then and then went in and the web, uh, and then the, you know the web thing happened quickly over kind of over a year or so and then like our, our main the main business was doing kind of web pages and stuff after that yeah well, that's, that, that's that's actually really fascinating um so how do you need to kind of uh, so you made gifts for um t-mobile and uh orange well, in 2005 well well, well what, what, what what it was was my, my um my girlfriend at the time she was going to goldsmiths and she she kind of had, she came up with this concept we, well, we kind of both came up with the, this concept of, of, of communicating through, because um, that's when mobile phones, you know, when you could start, they, you could start sending like small, you know, these, 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 these files were like, you know, for like five, ten uh, uh, K, uh, kilobytes. Uh, and, um, and because I was doing the gifts that let, you know, that lent itself to, that, so basically, she, I, I can't remember between us, we came up with this concept of this language, a visual language where you could just, instead of text messaging, you could send uh, a, uh, I, it's basically what, I mean, I, I, I didn't, I, I'm sure we weren't the first people, but we were definitely doing it like years and years ago. Um, and not, as far as I'm aware, no one else was, Doing it, that the, the big the big mobile companies weren't doing it. We we approached over the phone, and we got we got sponsored by Orange to do uh, like a, a, an exhibition. Um, but I mean, it, it kind of fizzled out. And then yeah. the, the next thing, the next thing, you know, that well now it's kind of like billion billion pound industry, all of that iffy and all that kind of stuff. Maybe we were you know a bit ahead of the. I think uh, I you're very ahead of the uh, the curve now. GIF art is kind of quite a big thing in the crypto art community. Back when you were doing it, it wasn't. Um, you know, it was. You, I always say that you may be the first ever artist to think about even doing gifs as an art form. So, what was what was that like doing um, art as as gifs back then? Because it was quite hard to make gifs, right? Well, I mean, I, I mean, the, the gifts that I, that you see up on um, a blockchain art exchange, I'm still using the the, the program which was, which which was which came with Photoshop Seven version Seven, and it was it, 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 I don't know if they've been incorporated it into the latest version, but it was it's called Image Ready Adobe Image Ready, and I mean they stopped making it yeah. decades ago. I'm I'm still creating gifts in that, so. Um, uh, and that was, I mean, at the time, because it was, yeah, it was new, cut, cutting edge kind of animated GIFs, and, and of course there was also uh, Flash, which which uses vector graphics, uh, which which is also it, it keeps the when you move the vector graphics, it's less it's scalable, and it, and, it, and you can get um, anti-alias uh, kind of graph, but not, but back back at that time you couldn't use photographs in the, with the vector kind of. Stuff, but 
Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm still using um, yeah, image ready now to, make, to animate the GIFs that uh, you see up on the so yeah, I've got top. some up on the side you now. So you're still these gifts that you're seeing on the side now are, are made by the same program that you make these more modern gifts in. Well, I, I'm using that 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 program is uh, uh, I don't know twenty fifteen twenty years old. Wow, that's yeah. what I'm using to make the gifts now. Yes, it's amazing that you can um, you can still make the same. It, it basically allows you to take a Photoshop file with all of the different layers, uh, different kind of uh, like uh, ink effects, uh, you know, and, and masks and that. And you can and basically you can open that up, um, image ready, and you can convert the, the layers into the frames. Yeah, and, I mean, I'm sure there's loads of different new GIF animations. Well, I know there's loads of, but I'm mean, at it's just the one I've always used, so I'm, and, and, uh, 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 yeah, so I'm familiar with it, so I'm, I'm still used, I'm sure there's easier ways of doing some of the stuff that I do um, with the newer the more contemporary software, but I, I haven't looked into it, to be honest. So I just I, I quite like the fact that it's, you know, it is that old, and it's retro, um, that software. 